I'll just leave it at that. Zoom doesn't work today. It would have been great if it did, but I'll just stand here. So I'm on El Paso Street, El Paso, Texas, USA, approximately. I can see some of the numbers, so 813 El Paso Street. Yesterday they were here making pests of themselves for two hours. A female cop and a male cop. And I was recording them. I lost one of the videos, the long one, the one that would have proved that they had camped out here, but that's okay. And out of retaliation, they decided to go over and, and give me a citation for being parked 18 inches from the curb, but I was inside a taxi zone, a marked taxi zone. I was inside the zone. I'm not going to mess with the Zoom. I guess the Zoom wants to work sometimes and the Zoom doesn't want to work sometimes. So the cop is by his vehicle right now. I guess he's alone. He's by that post. The lights are sort of covering him, I guess. I'm not gonna mess with the Sony Zoom anymore. That vehicle is the one in front. I guess I didn't see. Oh, from here it looks like he's got a Mexican plate. It's a waste of a citation. It's a waste of paper to give somebody with a Mexican plate a citation. That person's gonna go to Mexico and you'll never see him again. <clears throat> okay, I gotta check something. So I just keep recording. There we are. And I'm using this camera because with this camera I can just post it directly onto the internet. <clears throat> Nobody. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. And yeah, this is pettiness. After yesterday, screw you, cops. I'll record you any damn time I want to record you. It's not a crime. But it's also a protection of that individual's human rights. In the calendar year of 2019, I live in El Paso, Texas. I can tell you what El Paso police officers do. And you don't have to listen to me. I've said it before. Go to YouTube, do a simple search. Go to the internet, use your favorite search engine and Put in uh, El Paso police officers. You'll see them arresting journalists. Let me see, what else have they done? Killing people on camera. Caught, caught on camera. The prison, killed somebody in the prison that was hanged up, handcuffed and semi-conscious, lying on the floor with his pants around his knees. That person's not a threat to anybody. President John Nelson is not a threat to anybody. A police officer, he, he, I, I, I saw the video and I was with the police officer, I supported the police officer up to the point, the basic scenario was that he responded to a call, crazy person with a, gun, with a knife, excuse me, with a gun, the police officer responds, you can see that he's having a deal with him from the, when he's in the vehicle, when he arrives, and then the suspect pulls out the gun, tries to shoot the officer and the short officer responds tactically goes around his vehicle to provide himself a defensive position, draws his weapon, shoots a suspect. I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Then right then and there, where the person is bleeding, have three shots in him, on the ground, bleeding to death, the police officer shoots him three more times. That's when I said, that you, that's when you you went overboard. You, you, you didn't, uh, you know, you didn't need to shoot the person who's bleeding to death, laying on the ground. <clears throat> and that one was relieved of duty. That one was, can't use the word fired. That one was permanent relieved of duty. The one who shot the, the person at the prison, and I shouldn't laugh, I know it's very serious. The family, the loss of the family, the loss of the, the individual himself um, is very serious. But that, and I laugh because that police officer has been in and out of the police department. He, he was permanent relieved of duty. He was given his post back by the courts. He was, again, relieved of duty and he's fighting to get back on the police force. Why he would want to fight to get back on the police force. If you see the video, the video is on the internet. Again, I'm at my job site, so... Uh, <coughs> if a customer comes, I gotta go. 
So right now there's a taxi in front of me. A miserable good for nothing grouch who likes to run the customers off. So the police officer is still standing there. Again, I can see from here part of the plate and that's what around here we call a, a Mexican plate from the country, from the city of Juarez, state of Chihuahua. It can be from the board. A lot of people come in from the interior of Mexico. It doesn't matter. Giving a person with a Mexican plate a citation is literally a waste of paper. That person's not gonna pay it. You're not gonna run into him. You're not gonna issue a warrant for his arrest because he doesn't live in El Paso, Texas. Oh, it's another male and female group. Oh, wait a minute. It's the one from yesterday. It's the one from yesterday. Ha. Huh. See, I'm still recording you. Stupid broad. That's right. That's the one that gave me the citation for being 18 inches away from the curb yesterday. I'm not going to respect them. Screw them. So, no ticket, I guess. And again, if you give somebody from Mexico a citation, it's a waste of paper. That person's not going to pay it. You're never going to see that person again. You can issue a warrant for them. What are you going to do? They don't live here. You're going to go to Mexico? The, the police of El Paso are going to go to Mexico and, and try to get the person? <sighs> okay, I'll calm down. I said I was going to be calm today. This is serious business protecting the human rights and U.S. constitutional protections of individuals. As long as that cop car is parked there and I don't have a customer, I'll record them. Not, not going to mess with the Zoom anymore. Uh, yesterday I found out how to work the Zoom. I thought that would be great. All my other cameras, that was the issue yesterday. I'm like, you buy cameras specifically for this and then they don't work. So I'm in El Paso, Texas. It's getting kind of cold. You're seeing what is called El Paso Street with all the lights, you know. Try to make it interesting for the tourists. I guess it was a goal for the city government. My point is why would you put this much money into decoration, decorating a street when <clears throat> when you got all these broken down businesses it looks nice on is uh, the sad part about it is that they look nice on digital camera they actually look decent when you're here though you can see that they're dirty they're filthy they're broken down the the, the businesses that are in there <clears throat> if you had nice bakeries you know nice restaurants couple of good dress shops now watch I know I know what's gonna happen so they turn their lights off so I guess they, they don't but the guy they haven't let go I gotta keep looking back to see if that car be that taxi behind me leaves so I guess he's going on his way I guess he's going on his way. Let's see what the cop does. You can, I guess they're going to turn this into a traffic stop again. And my point is, if, if there, there is, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in El Paso, Texas right now who have made 911 calls, even in this area, in the downtown area. They need assistance. And these police officers are down here only concerned about traffic. See if I can get them to drive out. Okay. And I know they're going to make the right turn. Okay. So, so that's that. Let's see how far they go. Okay. I guess I'll stop recording there.